from Oneonta Maury. Maury Povich. Oh, it's been a long one of time, my sir. all time oh, Anthony. favorites. Maury Povich. Oh, Anthony. Oh, oh, I love Maury? the show. You're back. Yes. <laughs> Who Jimmy is here. You Who got everybody thought? here except Paul and Denise. Where are they? The gang's does, all here. <laughs> yeah, right? How do you I'm know running Paul? down the highway from Baltimore to, uh, the, oh, to no. New York the other day, and I'm hearing the worst of Opie and Anthony. <laughs> oh, no, and no. I'm hearing about Paul and Denise. <laughs> yeah, they, they're, they're goers. You want them on a Maury show? We can, we can they, set that up. They qualify. They, they qualify. would fit perfectly, man. <laughs> You know, we should have a, we should get a little partnership going. Now, which going. one? Which one could we do them on the cheating show? Although she says she's uh, absolutely deva- uh, devoted to this. Yeah, guy, right. I I think it's um, things maybe that you've done <laughs> when you're drunk <laughs> that you regret and your husband now has to live with. Uh, would that cover? Because uh, to fill everyone in, she went to the bathroom at some event. Yeah. Uh, was pinned against the wall by some celebrity, uh, some soap star out there. Oh, yeah, some British soap star. Some British soap star. Black gentleman. Who she, yeah, yeah, a black guy. Uh, she drops to her knees and gives the guy head. And uh, the husband finds out about this, and I don't, is he fine with it? He's got to be. Yeah, he was, He's he fine, was fine with, with it. it. Yeah, she came back down and joined the party. People that should be killed, <laughs> euthanized? I don't, what, there's got to be a subject for, for Maury's show on well, that one. I mean, we've had people on. In fact, today I'm taping a show in which a woman is trying to find out the father of her baby. Of course. Of course and you're doing I love that. those Maury's. But the deal is that there was a party one night, and there were a lot of guys. Oh, my God. She got a gang. So back, she's they call it. already brought on six of them Jesus. at the party. <laughs> oh, my God. And today she's bringing the seventh. Seventh guy. And, and her having... husband has forgiven her. <laughs> I just, wow. <laughs> I just can't believe this stuff. Is she hot, Maury? As I remember, she's okay. Yeah. yeah. I was wondering why the They're husband... all okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I get you. Yeah. Now, are they uh, giving, uh, giving uh, DNA tests? Of course. And that's what it is? Oh, yeah. And I guess the first six have passed, or are you going to wait until you got them all and then give her the yeah, results? Yeah, right. I know. I, I, I'll tell you, the problem is, I'm I'm in a, I'm in a golf course the other day, and in the middle of a putt, a friend of mine says, "Listen to this." He gives me the headline for my show. He says, "I had both the twins, and both of them are the father." <laughs> <And> I'm going, <laughs> <laughs> "My God, I've never done that. I've never had that one." How the hell does how that do work? You, how can you figure out which twin? <laughs> right. Wow, because both twins tag. have the same DNA. And they have the same <laughs> DNA, so you wouldn't be able to tell. Wow, that is really a predicament. I'm waiting for that one. Maury, you'll solve it. <laughs> you'll bring, you'll, somehow you'll solve it. You always do. You're able to wrap shit up in an hour, and I love it. Now, let me get this straight. Celine yeah. Dion was talking about <laughs> let them touch. Touch the plasma TVs. <laughs> let them touch the pants and the sneakers. Can someone find that so we can play that for Because uh, I don't want to play they, the whole they, clip, They're but. poor and they don't have those things. They should at least be allowed to touch it. it did they show Larry's reaction when she was saying that? Uh, I think he was snoring at the time. <laughs> <laughs> poor old Larry. Oh, now, now, now. You're, don't you're, mess with the, our, us old TV talk show types. You seem to have a little more spunk than Larry King. A little more pep in your step there, Maury. So, so guys, how's XM? It's great, huh? This oh, is, we uh, love it. Fantastic. Absolutely no more FCC. Don't I assume that just with. there's nobody who ever there's not a suit that can call you anymore. We're no. not even in in you know Washington is where all the bosses of XM are, so they put us up here. We don't even have a boss <laughs> that, that tells us anything. It's so anarchy. It's just a matter of time before we screw this up. More, so we leave right at eleven o'clock. Boy, you got to really do something bad to mess this one up. <laughs> we thought about that. We got some yeah. ideas. <laughs> have you had sex in a church? Call us. <laughs> <laughs> What, you're still doing well? Everybody still loves you? Yeah, yeah the we, gang's all here. And, we're rebuilding uh, an audience every day. so We're having a lot of fun. Isn't that great? Kind of like a startup? It's kind yeah. of fun to start over again. It was kind of getting a little annoying on regular radio with the FCC and the bosses. Anything we came up, any new ideas we came up to do, they would strike down. Here, you know, anything goes. And uh, I mean, it's kind of like... You know they at, they called me when Fox was going to read uh, do a current affair again. Right, you were uh, back you I, were the host, the and I was and I was saying y- 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 you can't do that. You nope. just can't do that. Wasn't that show for the time that it w- was the the eighties? Absolutely. And, like uh, we had we had we had it in the beginning. We had it by ourselves, and the only 
the only competition we had was entertainment tonight, and that was just in the celebrity area, and they were too tame to come. Yeah, you do guys what we were took doing. it to the gutter. I oh, mean, yeah, you took right. it to the street level. Yeah, oh, that was the only show doing it at the time. Yeah. yeah. And then Inside Edition came, and we knocked them down. And then Hard Copy, uh, then I left before Hard Copy. So we only had really one. In fact, the uh, host of uh, Inside Edition was Bill O'Reilly. That yeah, was who right. he was the host. Yeah. And we kind of competed against And you each kicked other. his ass, didn't you, Maury? Absolutely. Just saw the gleam in my eye. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. No. So uh, he's okay. Anyway. Uh, no, he's not. But what happened was, see, Paramount is the smartest people in the world. What happened was, I was going along okay, but I was thinking about doing a talk show. Paramount, who has, owns Entertainment Tonight, says, we want to give you a talk show. I said, why would... We, we, oh, we think you're the greatest talk show host in the world. I said, well, I haven't done any talk uh -huh. nationwide yet. I've only done it locally. He says, no, we love that. We love that. Finds out later on, they just wanted me off a of current affair. Get That's out. all they wanted. Yep. They didn't know what kind of a talk show host of I course. was. They just wanted me off the Eliminate darn show the that was beating them. So they hire me to do a talk show, uh, go off a of current affair, and then that kind of thing goes down after a while. Maureen O'Boyle's there for a while, and then it goes kind of goes down. Oh, I forgot about her. Yeah. We interviewed her back yeah, in the day. her. She was a hottie. What is she yeah, doing now? Her. I think she's kind of retired up in uh, New York State. She has yeah. a, w at least one child, I think. Wow. She was really nice to us. Yeah, yeah Maureen's good. The new host they got? Awful. Yeah, Tim we, Green, That show yeah. is a disaster. I don't it's know not, it, It's just in name, A Current Affair. I've met him. It doesn't have the same vibe. He seems like a nice guy, but yeah. he has, he has They're nothing. They're doing a lot of crime. You yeah. see, they figured that, that that's the only area that those other shows, uh, Extra and, and Access Hollywood, weren't doing mm -hmm. were crime. So I think they jumped on a lot of crime stories. You guys, I mean, you at, at the time you were hosting, had things like, uh, what, the oh. Buttafuoco oh, thing? Oh, yeah, and, Buttafuoco. I mean, Robert Chambers was the big uh, one. Yeah, 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 the preppy murder. Oh, and yeah. And it was just uh, Where well, we had the videotape of him tearing off the head of a doll at a slumber right. party. Yeah. That was the best. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I remember I, that. I, I think it was the greatest thing. I said, we only bought it for like 10 grand and, <laughs> and, and at the time in like in 1987 everybody's going you paid ten thousand dollars meanwhile about eight years later with joey they paid, paid like a half a million dollars yeah. for him that's <laughs> but incredible none of the like legitimate news organizations oh, yeah. would touch stuff like that or get that in depth into the real like down and dirty of, oh, the, yeah. of the until and, of course we were successful right and then <laughs> All of television news changed. And that kind of started uh, the and whole thing And that was kind of like, that predated like uh, uh, OJ and mm -hmm, the whole mm -hmm. thing. So then everybody yeah. there jumped on that because we had been popular with a lot yeah. of the... Uh, Whose the, idea was that then, to come up with a, a show that's kind of... The, the, actually, the guy who's come back, a guy named Peter Brennan. Mm -hmm. See, what happened was Rupert Murdoch... I mean, I'm anchoring the news for him when he buys Fox in Washington at the big station in Washington, there, Channel 5 in Washington, TTG. And he buys the old Metro Media stations, and he wants to start this show called A Current Affair, which had the same name in Australia. So he brings me, who's anchoring a news, to New York in 1986 as a summer experiment. And he says, well, it, we'll see if it works. I said, but... But I got your highest ratings of all your stations in Washington as an well. We'll find out whether I said. Wait a second! You trying to tell me I'm coming to summer camp up here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And if it doesn't work out, I'm going back. To, oh yeah, that's it. And by the way, my I had just married my wife, and and she was living in New York working for NBC, and I was in Washington, so we were commuting. So for the first time in our marriage, after a year and a half, we were going to live together here in New York. And he says, "We'll find out whether your marriage will work." So I <laughs> came here in 86 and have been held hostage ever since. Yeah. Wow. And so he threw me together with these Aussies who had never been on American television, had never done anything on American television. So we had Peter Brannon, Ian Ray, we had uh, uh, brought Gordon Elliott, that crazy big right. guy, and Gordon was one of our reporters. We had Steve Dunleavy, another Australian who works for the New York Post, but these wild, crazy guys and just sent everybody all over the country looking for these crazy stories. We had like, you know, the X-rated sheriff in Kansas who was fired because he and his wife were uh, uh, filming them or uh, videotaping themselves making love one day and he took the rental video camera back to the store right. and I, left, I the, remember that story now and left sure. the tape in the camera tape in it. <laughs> and it was the all sheriff. over town I remember that one yeah. the but poor x-rated sheriff no one was getting stories like that no. it had a very British tabloid oh, feel to absolutely. it absolutely yeah. you know and no one was getting those stories that's great
And, uh, well, your show now. Well, I it's mean, just I, wild. I cannot get enough of it. You are you you slay me on a daily basis, <laughs> Maury. Where do you find? <laughs> I, we make fun of this I, all the time. I, I want I want to be respectful. Are you the Are you the radio version of South Park? Did you ever see their I, their their spoof on me? Oh, oh my <laughs> God, it was fantastic! Yeah. Oh, did they nail you? You know all the disfigured kids which yeah. you have on, which is very legit. They did the whole the satire on me and the disfigured kids. I don't know where you get some of these people. Now, it, there's horrible combine accidents, oh, yeah. or are they uh, 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 birth defects, <laughs> whatever they are. They flock to you yeah. like uh, the modern-day oh. Jesus, <laughs> and, and and you put them on, Right. and I see a bit. i got to call you out. I see a little bit. Uh, well, let's take a show where it's like, uh, don't stare. Right. I, I'm just a right. person, or I'm right. just. What was right. the title of that show? Yeah. Don't stare. I'm. Just, I, I'm. I'm as. I'm, I'm as good as you are. Right. I'm like normal. That. I'm a right. person. And what you do instead of having <laughs> maybe a few hundred people at most look at them on the street walking and staring right. every day, you have millions staring <laughs> at them on television. <laughs> Now, it well, no, seems wait a to minute. defeat I'm just, the purpose of the title, Mark. I'm just trying to turn America's mindset around, you know? Is and that just, it? Yeah, humanize them a little? Trying to, trying to show the public that these kids should be treated like everybody else. So when you see them on the street, yeah. now you've seen them humanized. Right, on and TV. You, you won't be as uh, yeah. mean or critical. Exactly. Well, then, God bless you, <laughs> Mari Povich, because yeah. now I finally understand. I thought, silly, stupid me, right. I thought people were tuning in like it was P.T. Barnum pulling the curtain back. Oh, and, uh, oh I haven't thought about it that way. <laughs> <laughs> because, let me tell you something, Maury. When you put those little tiny children in oh, your the bookshelves. Pri the, primor <laughs> the primordial dwarfs? Come on. When now. you put that's, the primordial that's still dwarfs. our favorite show ever. And you had one hiding in your garbage can, <laughs> Maury. That's right. I smelled a little exploitation. There was one in my bookcase. <laughs> there was. There was. Where is she? She's in my drawer. Oh, she, they're the <laughs> cutest things in the world. <laughs> I bet they are, Maury. You wouldn't bring one back to you, though. We, we just taped one the other day. Did you? Yeah. How do you find. You know something? I've been walking around this uh, earth for quite some time. Yeah, I've, I've never seen, seen a one. lot of things. I've never <laughs> seen one of those. Where do you find them? Oh, what they, country? They just seem to find me. He doesn't even want to say he's got a source. <laughs> of course he's got a secret source. <laughs> he's got source. a little, it's, no, it's like a hollow tree somewhere that only Maury knows. Two no. people that are just drinking heavily all day having no. sex? No. <laughs> what happens is you have one on. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden there's a family who calls and says, I have one who's never seen anyone who looks like my child. Oh. I want my child to meet someone who has to go through what he does. So right. we get them together. And you got some you set them? because I see you <laughs> hugging and kissing, yes. and it's very nice and all, yes. but a you lot of people on this planet would go, yee, whoo, and not uh, embrace it. Somehow it just, that, that's it just not works. the case. It works. And I know, it really does. And I got to tell you, for how nasty and mean-spirited we are on this program, sometimes we tune in and even we have to go. Oh, oh my God! I that cannot is so believe, sad. Anthony, that you would ever have that feeling. I feel sad sometimes. I look up and there's Anthony, a girl I didn't, crying. I didn't think there was that fiber in your body. Neither did I. <laughs> Maury has brought it out. I I look and sometimes I well up a little bit and go, "That's sweet." That poor kid, uh, probably never uh, out in public at all, and now Maury brings her out and gives her a kiss, and and it's very yeah. sweet. Maury, how did you survive? There were a lot of shows like yours on TV, True. and they all yeah. went away except you. Well, I think what happened was, I mean, we got younger, strangely enough. Mm. First of all, you have to understand that, that talk show audiences during the day, for the most part, are, are older audiences. They're stay-at-home Those women. audiences are scary. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and somehow really we went, I mean, we're now, we have an average age under 40, which is unheard of. Most, mm. most mm. daytime audiences. And I think it's the themes. I mean, yeah. the paternity is just... Well, that's a big one. Unbelievable. Uh, that's a big one. If you, if you aren't <laughs> parading around something that should be on the set of Mask, you are uh, oh, uh, doing the paternity test. Well, the funniest <laughs> thing was, you know. <laughs> I, I, I put that. I know. I have all my golf buddies, see? So I have my golf buddies. One golf buddy says to me, he says, you won't believe what happened. I said, why? He says, well, I went over to the caddy shack. I like to hang around with the caddies. And they're watching your show in the caddy room. I said, yeah. He says, this is what I hear. One caddy saying to the other, anybody back home? 
ever accuse you of being the father of their baby? He says, oh, yeah. He says, they do? What, what do you do? He says, I tell them all the same thing. He says, what do you tell them? He says, I tell them I ain't the father till Mari tells me I'm the father. <laughs> I, said, I said, I've arrived. <laughs> now, you, you get some really distraught uh, women. Uh, well, here's when, when yeah. that happens, and I see them. They run backstage. Oh yeah, and the camera follows them, and then here comes Mari to console them. <laughs> <laughs> but how about when one you, of my faves? But how about when they do it the fifth time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. When they brought back the fifth the guy. Fifth guy. <laughs> And, the, and so you the, just want to say sometimes you're a little slut. Right, if you if you want to push a button for a segment, all you have to do is she's accusing a guy of being the father of her child, mm -hmm. and the guy has a new girlfriend. Right. And all you have to do is bring the new girlfriend. Oh on, yeah. And the two women go nuts. Now there's and some the guy here. is in the middle saying nothing, absolutely nothing. Yeah. And the women take over and they claw each other. Do you get more guys uh, that are or aren't the father? Have you noticed? I'd say it's equal. Equal? Yeah, I'd yeah. say it's about equal. I, I, I've been surprised. The key for me is, I never know. You don't until it's. I it's never set. ever mm. know. How accurate have you been? Uh, like, you got it. You got to make I'm a the, guess in your I'm head. I'm about as accurate as I am on the show that we do uh, with the beauty pageants. Are you a man or a woman? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> another great one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about as accurate as I am with them. <laughs> I have shows. no clue. <laughs> have you made those mistakes too? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Jimmy's had a few. Uh, uh, mishaps oh, Jimmy, over right? The years. Yeah. Uh, Usually they... around what? One or two in the morning? Yeah, maybe a couple. Instead of, <laughs> of your last, show, last, in your girl Saturn. At the, last girl at the bar. Oh, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> no, those usually... are the shows you have to watch beginning to end, uh, and the teases are great. Yeah. It's like, and now Stephanie comes out. Is Stephanie guy? <laughs> we'll tell you after this, and you gotta stick around. <laughs> and you know that the guys are better looking than the women. Right? Uh, there have been times where I have watched and been fooled, yeah. And I pride myself on being able to pick them out. And usually one time, w once during the show, they will have somebody who sings to me or mm. entertains of me. Course. And now they're rubbing up and I'm going, yeah. oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what, am, what is going on? I just... Jimmy, Doing something on your thigh, yeah, Maury? Yeah. Jimmy, you want to oh, tell uh, Maury what happened to you? Yeah, tell me, Jim. I was um I was lonely. <laughs> of Doesn't and, um, surprise me. Yeah, I was out. <laughs> Jimmy could easily be on many of your shows, by the way, Maury. I was uh, out one time, and I saw a pretty girl, and she got in the car, and she was doing things for me. For in money. the car? In the car. Oh, you got to the car part. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got way beyond that. We got into the here's the money and uh, zip and uh, park. She's doing stuff. Oh, he he didn't go to a bar, Maury. No, no, no. no. Oh, this just was down a street. street walker, yeah. He drives around. And I realized that Walk she had a big block. back for a girl. Because <laughs> he's rubbing her back because of the way she's positioned to earn her keep. And it was a tight, it was like a tight, like almost like a suit shirt. Like, you know those tight, the tight, yeah, yeah. Uh, sweaty back I could feel. And I just realized that I was, was a guy. You're in trouble. Yeah. Oh, jeez. You're yeah. in trouble. Yeah, I lost my rod. And, uh, so, <laughs> it was fantastic up to that point. Believe yeah. me, a really world Well, class. it's be better, better to recognize it then. No, yeah. better to recognize it after. You don't get your money back. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to accuse him of bait and switch? <laughs> oh, I'll sue you for oh. false advertising, fella. <laughs> get cut with a slash with a razor. I just had to leave and go home and pretend it never happened. <laughs> we have to go uh, backwards a little bit. We got Paul on the line. You heard Paul and Denise. Yeah. That's how Oh, you're started. kidding. We got Paul. He wants Is to he there? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Paul. Hey, what's up, boys? You're on with Maury Povich. I, I'm going to I'm gonna be your your agent today. I think we could get you on Maury's show. Yeah, I heard. I got like 10 emails. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul. Yes. How you doing, buddy? I, I was in hysterics between uh, exit four on the New Jersey Turnpike and exit 11 coming from Baltimore to New York. Holy shit. The which, work, uh, which story did you like? Well, it was just the uh, I, I just what what I was trying to figure out the whole time is is she as devoted to you as she says she is? Yes, I am. Oh, oh she's on my too. lord! <laughs> yes, I am. Wow, Denise, you really are, huh? Yes, I do. I put up a lot with him. Yeah, but, the, but there's a lot of flirtatious behavior going on there, Denise. Flirtatious? No, no. <laughs> flirtatious? <laughs> huh? I'm very open sexually, but when it comes to commitment, I'm very, very committed to him. Well, well how do we, uh, you know, how do we define commitment here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. a, gun, a gun to a, fo a forehead, I'm thinking. <laughs> Exactly. There's been a few, inc you know, a few things that have happened there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I heard you these. You want to know something? I mean, nobody knows the complete details of everything. Uh -uh. Okay. Oh shit! There's more. Yeah. yeah there's more. <laughs> How many more Negroes are there? <laughs> That's 
that's not even funny. <laughs> Trust me. I mean, if, if the world really knew what went behind the scenes oh, and why God. I did some oh. things that I did, you know what I mean? No, yeah. not really. Why she's done uh, things? Oh, some things in your past, maybe? Yeah, some things in my past with Paul. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, uh, what uh, did uh, Before that, don't talk about that now. Did, <laughs> yeah, see? Well, Paul has one of the greatest stories ever told on our show. Where, really? Yeah, he had sex with a, a girl that was paralyzed. Oh. Oh, hey, well, that's true. Back, so we'll huh? Yeah. What, oh, Paul? Yeah, that, I, that the funny part too. She almost he had to uh, he had to pick her up and do like a fireman's carry from the wheelchair to the bed, and um, <laughs> then had sex with her. Yeah. Yeah, they used the same equipment. They used to get those fat people out of the houses in Brooklyn to get her up on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, quite the catch, there, Paul. Hey, <laughs> I can't say I ever did anything like that. Well, you're I on with. I ever did walk. Well, you guys are on. Holy with, fuck! You guys are on with Mori Povich. Yeah, I, I was, I was. I was engrossed. Yeah, isn't for it? seven exits on the Jersey know, we Turnpike. We have gotten so many comments about our show since since we've been on that day. Has anybody uh, else tried to rape you in the bathroom? No, they no, say please I mean, now. I've, <laughs> I've had offers Great. from every black guy at every Opie and Anthony meeting. And Paul is such a just blatant racist. I, I don't know how this relationship works, but it does. Maury. Do you see a connection? My wife was raped by black people, and I hate the blacks. Do you see the connection? Oh, why do you hate the blacks? Yeah, I didn't get anything out of that during that show. <laughs> no, you don't get it during the show. You get it when he's uh, having lunch with you at a diner somewhere. <laughs> then he just spouts off, and you're sitting there going, oh, my God, I can't sit with this guy. Yeah, that's actually true. My best friend at work is black. I try all my material out on him. <laughs> he's the worst. <laughs> no, I'm... I'm an equal opportunity racist. I, if you want to joke about the British, I'll, I'll join in and joke with you. I don't give a shit. We were sitting there playing cards down in Atlantic City, oh, and uh, and I was hoping that I wasn't going to get a flush because it was a spade flush, and I didn't <laughs> want to hear him go off about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll lose the pot. I don't care. Please make it a heart. <laughs> oh, he God. is. He is so embarrassing. The way he is on the show, the way he is out, I mean, that's him. Yeah, we know He's that. He's too loud. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Andy, I should have a suggestion for a new Photoshop for you. I'm thinking a cross between Pulp Fiction and New Orleans. The Welcome to New Orleans sign and underneath Dead Nigger. Oh, all right. Paul. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. He d never knows where to leave it alone. Never. He's no filter Paul. Let's say hi to Sports Girl from Whack Bag. Sports Girl. Hey there. I just have to say this is like the best hour of radio I've ever heard. Maury, you Maury. are a genius. A oh, genius. Thank you. Maury but is the best. What, the what? best is uh, the baby daddy stories where he brings the girl back for the third and fourth time. Oh, yeah. The fifth guy. Yeah, I think my record is 12. <laughs> well, <laughs> one, time, one time I said to a woman, I said, you know, I don't know much about the female reproductive situation here, but aren't we talking about a two-day period? <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> Right. I mean, isn't about, you know, that, that, that period of, of, of being able to get pregnant yeah. is about two days. Mm -hmm. And we can't figure out who you were with after 12? In a two-day period. <laughs> In a two-day period. Wow. That's still barely leaving time to eat. <laughs> that really is. All right, sports girl. You, you ever do a show or, or bring somebody on, and, and afterwards you're like, oh, Jesus, I really wish I hadn't done that one? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love the honesty. There's man. probably a shower in his office. It takes care of everything. <laughs> Just wash it off, Maury. What happens to these people after the taping's over? Well, a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'll tell you, one of the good things that our audience is like, we we update all these stories. I yeah, mean, I know. That's we update good the thing. cheating yep. Yep. stories, you know, when they run <laughs> off and the guys slept with over 100 women. I'll never take him back. And six months later, they're back. Back again. They're still together. Yeah. <laughs> you know you know what uh, some of my favorites are also? The uh, big fat babies. Oh, yeah. When, when oh, Maury Lord. brings out uh, the 100-pound three-year-old. Three-year-old. <laughs> right. But the buffet table, that's just yeah. out of reach. <laughs> now, it's not just bringing the kid. <laughs> You're the worst, There's Maury. food on the set. <laughs> well. And they let the kid, like, dig his hands into cake. I debated and he's about only And he's I, only wearing a diaper when I, he walks out. I debated about that. You and did. so what happened was. <laughs> to soothe my conscience, oh my I asked the mother, so is this what he has at home? Right. And she says, oh, yeah. I said, okay. Bring All right. <laughs> Finally, we're not doing anything different than she does at home. 
And yet, instead of just dressing the kid, they put him in like a loincloth, <laughs> just like a, a little diaper, so you can oh, see yeah, every no, fold. That's a bit much. In their uh, little skin. I talked to my producers about that. You have, huh? And then I went to the mother, and the mother said, "That's what they wear at home." <laughs> now I've seen I've seen you uh, make attempts to try to get the kid uh, some medical help. Oh yeah, we did that. And see that, but then on the update shows, they right. come back bigger. and they're bigger. <laughs> yeah, I know. What happens to the help? Bad doctors. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what kind of doctors are you getting, Mari? Get them off of the back of matchbooks. That's where they get their diplomas. Be a doctor. <laughs> uh, let's. Stalker oh, Patty has my something. favorites. Stalker Patty. Hi, I got a new show idea. What's I'm that? Over forty and still a virgin. Now that's topical uh, because it's in uh, the movies the now. Forty-year-old virgin. Patty <laughs> is fifty years old. Yeah, and she is a virgin. She's Not a virgin. technically. How she close, is literally how close a virgin. Did she? She's had Ron Jeremy's hand down her pants. <laughs> she's had much. her p- hand down Ron Jeremy's pants. Um, she's had her breast felt by Jimmy Norton. I was the first one ever touching. Uh, she's been naked with a Krusty the Clown mask on in this studio. But as far as sexual intercourse, she is a virgin. And she's never uh, done oral or any of that stuff. She is really... Uh, was this because there's no desire or... No, she wants to. She was brought up with. Uh, she waiting was adopted the... by this strict Catholic family. Uh, waiting for her prince, charming. Prince charming. Stop. No, it's, it's... You're fifty. Yeah, she's uh, <laughs> she's a foundling. <laughs> yeah, she was dropped off as an infant in a diner you, by her mother. Do you mother. think there would be uh, more? Is this a single guest show, or do you think there are more like you? Mm. I don't know. Maybe I think it's a are. great show. Maybe I a lose their virginity show. show. You can no, hook like, her up with uh, another with the 40, older virgin. Forty-year-old yeah. virgin. Is a great idea. Yeah, and she's, the virgin. she's fifty, and she wants to fall in love with some guy, and she says she's saving herself. And then, I, or you could put her on the show. My teeth look like mini chiclets, but I'm a human being. Hey, for fifty years old, I'm a knockout. When you compare me to other women my age, that is true. She's got a nice. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You should, you should lose your virginity on Maury's show. He can get like the uh, the offensive line from the Giants and say, "Pick one." <laughs> <laughs> Maury, would you do a show? I like on your virgins? imagery, Jim. <laughs> yeah, I like your thinking. <laughs> I think you should do a show on virgins. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, guys. I will take that back to the office this morning. There, there you got, go. And if you need Stalker Patty, give us a call. We'll we'll give you Stalker Patty. Okay. And of course, Maury. The progeria kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the progeria kids. When you bring them out right. with their little Yankee hats Come on. on now. Uh, just adorable. <laughs> Aren't they liar, the Anthony. cutest little? I always comment well, about somebody, how adorable they somebody are. Somebody gains five years of age in a month. You don't like that? I think they're the cutest little things that ever walked off a UFO. <laughs> It's <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. Now come on, Anthony. Okay, I, I apologize. These are kids. Mark. These are kids who have, you know, they're gonna, they're not gonna live that long. I know. Be I hear them on the shelf. You have easy. to give them a skateboard. Well, Mark, I'm an ordinary kid inside, and I like to skateboard, and I, it's wonderful. The cute little voices. <laughs> doot, doot, doot. I think I stayed five minutes too long. Oh no, Mari! <laughs> come on. No, I understand. We're trying I, to. We're trying to see where your line is. I all. feel, you know, something. I've never been more educated about people and uh, uh, certain afflictions like that uh, than I have. From you would your have show. never known about it, would you? Never would have known about it. There and there are times I'm honest with you, that I, I do watch and go, oh, I can't, I can't even goof on that. <laughs> but Maury's right there giving uh, support. There you go. And he looks you at the watch. And, all right, Maury. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we were talking we'll about the on. South Park thing, so the yeah. South Park satire, and they did all of that. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. they just jumped on me so bad. So I, I, I called them. And afterwards, and they wouldn't answer the phone. Are you kidding? <laughs> they, they wouldn't. They were scared. They thought yeah, I was going to sue them or something, or something yeah. like that. So finally, I finally got somebody to answer the phone. I then I said, "This is Mari Povich." Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mari. Yeah, yeah. Wait, is it okay? I said, <laughs> "Look, all I want to know is." How can I buy those original cartoon cells that <laughs> appeared on the show? <laughs> and I've got five of them now you in do. my office. Yeah, hey, that's pretty wow. Cool. The, the truth of the matter is, I see it as. Oh, I'll uh, tell you what. Uh oh! I'll find a cell. Oh my god! I'll give it to you. You put it on your auction, and we auction it. That's right. He listens That's to right. our show. That man. would be huge. We're, we're, That'd be huge. Yeah, I'll find one. We're actually doing a good thing. The Opie and Anthony auction for the yeah. I'll send of one over. Katrina. You have an original cartoon cell from the That's South Park. Huge classic. Yeah, you got to sign half it. hour of me. I, I'm gonna be yep. on that. I, I want that. 
I'll bid on that. Uh, we're all going to bid on it, Maury. Okay. I'll send it over today. Yeah, absolutely. You got to autograph now, it. Now, can I get out of here? Yes, well, Maury. We got some, all right. What do you got? You can't have girls Oh, no, 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 They're not going to strip. No, me, are they? no, 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 Maury, we wouldn't do that to you. No, oh, yeah, we don't want to get Maury in trouble. <laughs> and uh, I, as I see it, uh, uh, Maury has got a great sense of humor about a lot of things and stuff, but he honestly does give a shit about uh, the people that are on his show, and I, I do well, respect that. Well, we can Thanks, find guys. the topics for your show, I'm telling you. No, I'm telling you, I'm We're taking really the Virgin show. I love the Virgin. Yeah, that is We're really good at this type of thing. I'll give you full credit. Patty's pretty good. She'd uh, she'd work out Patty, fine on that. Yeah, program. she's uh, she's done a little TV too. She's become a star in her own right. It's uh, it's a little nuts. <laughs> Something tells me that girl isn't a real nurse. <laughs> you got nurses. There's out a there? girl in a nurse well, uniform, uh, but I think oh, the oh, nurse, nurse uniform. Oh, like, I see. Uh, Maury, before you leave, let me explain. Jim Norton, he's been with us, and he'll continue to be with us. But he's flying out to LA to film a um, HBO series. Really? Yeah. Shoot an HBO series. So he leaves tomorrow. Like a comedy series or a... It's, uh, the, it's the first live audience sitcom they've done. We start shooting, I think it's Monday, we do the first table read, so i got to go out tomorrow. And, uh, I'm well, this is big. Yeah, it's, hopefully. It's, yeah. it's big I for hope. Jimmy. And it's big so, for the show, too, because we're going to follow his This is progress. like a Def Jam or something else? No, no, no it's no, actually no, a, sitcom. No, a sitcom. Oh, it's a sitcom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A guy named Louis C.K., uh, it's his show, and I'm like one of the characters on the show. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I watch everything more... they have. Yeah, they're great. They usually make great products. By the way, talking about that stuff, have you guys watched Barbershop? Uh -uh. Very no. good. Showtime. Yeah? Very good. You watch weeds? all the original watch weeds? I, I'm, I'm, I'm watched that. I'm watching. I'm Rome. hearing weeds. Is Rome good. is Rome is great. Yeah. I'm on entourage. entourage. I'm an entourage very good. guy. Very good. Rescue me. I'm watching. The guy must be as thin as a stick. The uh, the main the actor? movie star. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, he's like a head on a stick. <laughs> I love that show, Entourage. <laughs> entourage is good. And I'm going to start watching Weeds because everyone's starting to talk weeds about is good. that show. Weeds is good. Yeah, she's good. Mary Louise Parker. Right on. I like all that stuff. See now. Did you see the uh, Lisa Kudrow show? Oh yeah, that come she's back. Got on that. How uncomfortable is she on that <laughs> show? It's <laughs> hysterical. That. It's really good. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you know the. It's like the TV. The sitcom uh, queen comes back to do a show. It's Lisa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's very good. You know, it really. It, it's it's saying a lot about network television. A lot of people are going over to cable and watching these series because they're more real life. They're more. Uh, honest uh, in the, their language and the topics they can cover. And they're all now bulked up between 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. Yeah. And I'm TiVo and everything. I mean, I know. Crazy. If you don't have a TiVo or DVR with your cable, you're right. sunk <laughs> because there's so many things on. We have things that record and we're watching something and all of a sudden it'll beam yes. come up and go, something's going to start recording. So now you can't watch what you exactly. were watching. You got to start I've got that doing... one that's built in probably like you in the, in yeah. the Time Warner box. You have to you know? start doing on the DVR. And you can do two. But you got to be watching one. Watch it, so you're like, you can't I... watch a third and tape two. You, you do can programming two, triage <laughs> in your house. You're like, what's more important? <laughs> this show's got to die. You know? It's a Good pain line. in the ass. Good line, you Anthony. Five triage. of those things. That's right. Cable triage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That show didn't make it. I've got to make a choice. <laughs> Maury, you got to come back. Maury, right, always, guys. always a nice pleasure to have you on, man. We just, Love the show. I think we just met Maury for the first time just before we blew ourselves up. Yeah. Yeah. We can have mm -hmm. a nice relationship here. Good. We'll promote yep. your, uh, your show. Absolutely. I'll definitely. come back. So uh, the new season, we're... Oh, we're starting uh, it's this, already this happened, week. right? Start this week. It's fine. Right. I mean, we're doing everything. And everybody says, everybody said to me, well, how come you don't get the, the uh, credit and... Uh, and uh, uh, attention that you, you should deserve if you're the third rated talk show in the country. I said, well, I said, all those people think that they're, so, you know, that, that, that they're highbrow and we're lowbrow. I said, but I look on cable television, see all those news channels, see everybody screaming and yelling except for hurricanes. I said, I think my brows are about as high as they are. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> who's, a, who's ahead of you? Who's the only two ahead of you? Probably uh, Oprah, Oprah and Dr. Phil. Jesus. That Dr. Phil, You're what the hell company. happened there? <laughs> Oprah brings him on right. as a guest. All of a sudden, anything And Oprah I don't think touches. they like each other anymore. No, I think she owns not. him in terms of uh, oh, ownership. Yeah. I can't She's stand making some Dr. cake Phil. off of that. I don't watch can't it. Can't watch Dr. Phil. Oprah, I'll take a peek every once in a while. She does oh. a good job. I, I will. I'll you take put a peek. your skirt on and uh, watch <laughs> a little Oprah? I said I'll take a peek. You like, like I'm like sitting there every afternoon with tea. Book yeah. of the Month Club, do you remember? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. What does Oprah recommend uh, <laughs> this I, month? I, I said I'll take a peek. That's all. In between <laughs> curling up with a Judy Bloom novel, you sit <laughs> watch Oprah? But Dr. Phil gives no advice, really. Right, Opira. What? <laughs> well, bye, guys. <laughs> oh, no, Maury. Go on. I gotta go. I gotta take. Thanks. He's got to take paternity Maury. updates. I got paternity updates. Oh, <laughs> hey, if I send a picture of us to your office, will you sign it for me? Sure. Send a picture of us from last time. Oh, absolutely. All right, thanks.
All Maury, right. thanks good so luck, much, Jim. Man. Thanks, Maury. I want to see it. I want to be. I want to be. I want it to be so good I can TiVo it. Well, what know. you what you can see, he did an HBO half hour comedy special. It's going to be October twenty first on HBO. Yeah, there you yeah, go. They, You're big, Jim. Very I'm a nobody, funny. but I'm hopefully by the end of he's, October to be moving along. He's becoming bigger happens. by the day, Maury. He's he's becoming huge right in front of our eyes. So there okay, you have guys, it. Okay, guys, bring it. in the nurses. All right, Maury, thanks, Maury Povich, man. everyone. <laughs> Thank you.